everybody. Um, I feel like every YouTube video that we have starts off in a car, but I, I can't explain to you guys how much driving we do to rescue animals. So I am with my friend Rebecca right now, and we are on our way to go rescue an osprey that uh, one of my Instagram followers actually reached out to me and asked me for advice. It's six o'clock and all of the wildlife centers in Florida close at five, which makes it really hard to find somebody who's able to go and rescue wildlife. Two miles. And this is not Take enough that someone can just running, go and like put in a box it's an blue. osprey that can hurt you, a talon, so um, a large bird of prey so it definitely needs to be somebody that kind of has a little bit of experience with this animal so um, as far as we know right now the osprey maybe has a wing injury it's been in the same spot for two hours it looks like it's just holding onto a branch in the water off of a sea ledge so that's all the information I have we're about 15 minutes away and let's uh let's pray for the best and hope we can get them without any issues flies are getting in. Yeah. He's like hanging in. Okay. Oh, there might be oh, some keys. There's bristles in here. Lots of bristles. Way easier than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, way easier. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, this animal kid is an animal I don't know you. those tricks. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sometimes they try to take off and then they're just in the water mm -hmm. and it's just a big... Yeah. Look at all the fires. <laughs> I can't believe like all the wildlife centers close at like five so people message me all the time like all hours of the night because no one is there to help. Yeah. So yeah they were kind of like well mm, yeah we're closing in 20 minutes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they don't call you back yeah unfortunately it's not a priority for most people right. you know I know I told them I said Gabby's my go-to girl like anytime I have any <laughs> questions or anything about wildlife I'm like I'm gonna ask her because it's, well, you thank know you. Yeah, well, appreciate no, thank, thank you for, for helping him I'll keep oh. you updated yes, I'm gonna take please. him in the morning to the wildlife center so okay Okay. All right, All right guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So we're heading home right now. Um, everything went really well. I just want to point out that I am not a licensed rehabber. I'm not going to be um, rehabbing this bird and you have to have like a special federal license in order to rehab birds of prey like this. I'm basically just the transport it to get it from point A to point B rather than leave it 
all night out there where it's going to be cold or, or hot and have to hold on to that little branch in the water um, until nine o'clock in the morning when wildlife centers open it's just easier for me to take this bird get it in a safe environment um, just leave it in a dark room so we can relax offer him some water and then in the morning bring him to a wildlife center he also has bands so he's definitely in some kind of like database usually when they have bands like this you can look up how old they are when the last time they were uh, caught was or seen was they like track locations which is pretty cool so I'm hoping that it's nothing serious with this bird I'm hoping that maybe he's just a little dehydrated or something I'm hoping he doesn't have like any hooks or botulism or anything he still looks pretty bright um, so fingers crossed and as I get updates I will update everybody Thanks so much guys for all the support and for watching this video. Chris is still in Africa. I haven't heard from him in a week, so hopefully he is still alive and well. And uh, as I get updates on Chris, I will update all of you. I can't wait to see what he's doing in Africa. Hopefully he got to swim with the crocodiles and have some amazing footage. And we will see you guys in the next episode. All right, hi again. I know I already did a conclusion for this video, but I just got home and I looked up the band numbers on the bird and he was actually banded one year ago, like almost to the date. He was too young to fly when he was banded. So he's a little bit over a year. And the last time he was seen was in Montana. So that is just so crazy. And I'm so happy that I was able to rescue this bird, but I'm also happy that I was able to report the band because this is going to help with research. So thanks again for watching and this time for real goodbye. <laughs>